Marcus, Mark, 15. And straightway in the morning the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council, and bound Yahusha, and carried him away, and delivered him to Pilate. And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Yahudim? And he answering said unto him, You say it. And the chief priests accused him of many things, but he answered nothing. And Pilate asked him again, saying, Answer you nothing? Behold, how many things they witness against you. But Yahusha yet answered nothing, so that Pilate marveled. Now at that feast he released unto them one prisoner, and at whomsoever they desired. And there was one named Bar Abba, which lay bound with them that had made insurrection with him, who had committed murder in the insurrection. And the multitude, crying aloud, began to desire him to do as he had never done unto them. But Pilate answered them, saying, Will ye that I release unto you the king of the Yahudim? For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. But the chief priests moved the people that he should rather release Bar Abba unto them. And Pilate answered and said again unto them, What will ye then that I shall do unto him whom ye call the king of the Yahudim? And they cried out again, Crucify him! Then Pilate said unto them, Why, what evil has he done? And they cried out the more exceedingly, Crucify him! And so Pilate, willing to content the people, released Eth Bar Abba unto them, and delivered Yahusha, when he had scourged him to be crucified. And the soldiers led him away into the hall, called Praetorium, and they called together the whole band. And they clothed him with purple, and plaited a crown of thorns, and put it about his head, and began to salute him, Hail, King of the Yahudim! And they smote him on the head with a reed, and did spit upon him, and bowing their knees, worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took off the purple from him, and put his own clothes on him, and led him out to crucify him. And they compelled one Shimon, a Cyrenian, who passed by, coming out of the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to bear his pole. And they bring him unto the place Golgaleth, which is being interpreted the place of a skull. And they gave him to drink wine mingled with myrrh, but he received it not. And when they had crucified him, they parted his garments, casting lots upon them, what every man should take. And it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the superscription of his accusation was written over the king of the Yahudim. And with him they crucify two thieves, the one on his right hand and the other on his left. And the scripture was fulfilled which said, And he was numbered with the transgressors. And they that passed by railed on him, wagging their heads and saying, Ah, you that destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the pole. Likewise also the chief priests mocking said among themselves with the scribes, He saved others, himself he cannot save. Let Hamashiach, the king of Yashadael, descend now from the pole, that we may see and believe. And they that were crucified with him reviled him. 
And when the sixth hour was come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Yahusha cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama azavtani, which is being interpreted, My El, my El, why have you forsaken me? And some of them that stood by when they heard it said, Behold, he calls Eli Yahu. And one ran and filled a sponge full of vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink, saying, Let alone, let us see whether Eliyahu will come to take him down. And Yahusha cried with a loud voice and gave up his ruach. And the veil of the temple was rent in two from the top to the bottom. And when the centurion which stood over against him saw that he so cried out and gave up his ruach, he said, Truly, this man was the son of Elohim. There were also women looking on afar off, among whom was Miriam of Migdal, and Miriam the mother of Yaakov, the less, and of Yosef, and Shalom, who also, when he was in Galil, followed him and ministered unto him and many other women which come up with him unto Yerushalayim. And now when the evening was come, because it was the preparation that is the day before the Shabbat, Yosef of Ramah, an honorable counselor, which also waited for the kingdom of Yahweh, came and went in boldly unto Pilate and craved the body of Yahusha. And Pilate marveled if he were already dead. And calling unto him the centurion, he asked him whether he had been any while dead. And when he knew it of the centurion, he gave the body to Yosef. And he brought fine linen and took him down and wrapped him in the linen and laid him in a sepulcher, which was hewn out of a rock and rolled a stone under the door of the sepulcher. And Miriam of Migdal, and Miriam the mother of Yosef, beheld where he was laid. <laughs>